now with you is where I belong And I've been trying hard to find my way since you've been gone I'm Hannah, I my name is Maggie, and we are a band called Hannah and Maggie For someone, I really heard Hannah play for a long period of time, and it wasn't just a song or two. I guess it was my sophomore year in the fall, and we did another coffee house acoustic show at Wilder, and I invited Hannah to come play, and she played for a half an hour, and I was just so completely blown away. She's, she's notorious for having incredibly complicated finger-picking guitar parts, and just like watching her go nuts with these really beautiful, really thoughtful pieces of music. And then she'd finish the song and I'd be like, she wrote that. Like, how does that even make any sense at all? They were really, really just beautiful. And, and I remember being kind of just like in awe of her. I was like, oh my god, she's so cool. <laughs> At Smith, we always have senior banquets at the end of the year, where you celebrate the departing people, and we did that for our acapella group, and Maggie sang a song that she wrote called The Land and the Sea. Something about the song just, just broke me. It was like, I, Maggie, sometimes I tell this story before we perform this, and Maggie always tells the audience, it was the ugly cry. But that moment was such a turning point for me because I already had so much respect for her as a guitar player and as a singer because we've been singing together and I just thought she was she's a lot better at playing the guitar than I am in a lot of ways. Um, but that just really solidified a sense of respect that I that she could do that to me with her song. That I just knew, but this girl's got a. This, she's got something that's really great. out a route to take. We were playing at coffee shops and open mic nights and um, occasionally we would play in like a lineup of people and it, I mean, the long and short of it was, it was amazing. We just made a lot of friends and had a really good time and it was, it became very clear to both of us at the same exact time that like this was actually what we wanted to do and that was it, and we should try really hard to do it because it was, um, it was just the best time ever. I think that the thing that YouTube did too first, it gave us little things to work on. It was like, let's jam together. 
but let's make a let's, YouTube video. let's have a song ready enough to present to an internet audience was a step that I think kind of helped us. And, you know, she was going to be at Smith and I was going to be in another country. I went to Ecuador and that was the plan. And what we would do is we would, I started writing music and I would send her, I would record a video of myself. I would record it and I would email to her and I would say, here is the song that I'm working on, tell me what you think about it. And we just talked each other through every single note of every single song that we wrote. And I wrote so much music when I was abroad. I think I wrote like seven or eight songs. only person who I share music in this way with is Maggie and it makes me feel good in my soul it makes me feel good in my heart and in my brain and every way that I could feel good about it I think it's rare to find someone who you can be a partner with but I did <laughs> you know so I kind of feel like I won the lottery They contacted us and were like, they saw we saw you open for Dar. And they were like, the subject of email was, come play at our gay wedding. And we were like, yep, yeah. Yep. And, yeah. and, and then we're going to set off down the East Coast, down to Georgia. My fear <laughs> in saying what I'm doing after I graduate is more just that people will judge me and be like, oh, of course you want to play music, so does everyone else in the whole world. Um, I remember thinking when I was younger, like, there's only so many famous people, like, not everyone can be famous and play music and travel all over the world doing what they love to do. Um, but playing with Hannah has made me realize there's a ton, there are tons of people out there who are playing music who aren't famous, but are, that's what they do, and that's how they make their living. And that's okay, that's completely fine. to try to play music as often as we can and see what happens and um, maybe we'll get really lucky and maybe we won't be so lucky but either way I couldn't be more thrilled to start this ridiculous adventure that's about to happen <laughs> and I feel really beyond lucky to have found Hannah um, however that happened and yeah we're just gonna go and try to play music forever. 